Hello everyone, Winch with Delano here along with Luke Kimmis. Uh, we have another installment of our ongoing blog series through Canoe and Kayak Magazine on rediscovering North America. We're coming to you about 20 miles south of Grand Forks, North Dakota. Last I saw you, we were in New Ulm, Minnesota. There we were re repackaging all of our resupplies for Northern Canada. Along with that, a pallet full of bare nakeds. Once we hit the Minnesota, it didn't go let us go lightly. We hit uh, strong winds, heavy currents, and a piece of rebar that pierced our boat. Luckily, our Renaissance man, Adam Trigg, took care of that. After we crossed Lake Lacquiparl, we cro then crossed Marsh Lake and found ourselves on the Upper Minnesota. The Upper Minnesota River, we found out we had some information that there was going to be low water, muddy, and lots of log jams. That was all true. Um, the water definitely disappeared, the mud came in, and the log jams were there. We then had to portage to about three and a half miles, which got us to Big Stone Lake. We're so excited. Big Stone Lake was about 40 miles long, glass. We paddled the first part uh, right when we got there and finished it the next day. From there, we did the Little Minnesota River into Browns Valley. Browns Valley is the, the Laurentian Divide. We portaged that and gave a bunch of high fives. It was a beautiful moment. And the Bois de Sioux and the Red River lay beyond. We finished the two lakes, Traverse and Mud, in a day. And then from there, we were onto the Bois de Sioux, met some uh, Army Corps of Engineers guys who were telling us that 20 out of 21 years, uh, this thing's you know about eight to 20 feet higher. And it looked pretty low, it looked pretty bad, but uh, we managed to get through it in a day and a half of paddling. And then onto the Red River, uh, when the Bois de Sioux meets the Otter Tail, we shot our first rapid on an old dam that had been taken out, and we had to actually maneuver our boats from, uh, from the water for the rest of the, the dams that had been taken out, but otherwise it's been a pretty smooth ride. And we find ourselves here about 150 miles south of the border, ready to cross into Canada and continue the rest of our adventure. Thanks everybody again for following us and all of your support. You can follow us, check up on us in Canada at Canoe and Kayak, along with our Facebook, Rediscover North America, and our website, rediscoverna.com. Killed it! Yeah! <laughs>